I see the crab. Do you guys see it? Oh, man. This crab must go. I knew something was wrong when I noticed everything on this rock would die. He killed my two Banga Cardinals and ate them. So many coral pieces in my tank. I have no idea where he came from unless he hatched from an egg. Let's try some frozen mice shrimp. I'm gonna fill this up with water, stick frozen mice ice cube inside, and let everything settle to the bottom of the glass. Now I will stick this glass underwater against the rock and then untwist the cap. And when the crab decides to climb up to the top of the glass, he'll fall inside and not be able to climb out. Let's see if it works. And just woke up, look what I got. You are out of here, dude. Gatsby, we got him. He's like super furry. The culprit. Stop staring at me! The evil crab. So evil. We are just going to stick the crab inside of the freezer. It's about the most humane way to kill the crab. It just falls asleep. Must have an in memoriam for all the things the crab has killed. It's time to brush an itchy corgi. Vacuum. Look at that beautiful coat. You're so handsome. <laughs> Gym time. Fuck. See ya. Let's get some baby wipes. Head back home. For dinner today, we are gonna be making some spicy tuna nachos. My mom sent me the recipe, it looks really good. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now to pick up the ingredients. Here's the recipe. One red onion, one jalapeno, two limes, yeah. cilantro, radishes, avocado. Yep. Now let's grab the fish from the Asian market. Got all the ingredients. Jasmine ice milk boba. By the way, some people were commenting on my finger here. Look at that. It's all black. I slammed my hand in the door. <laughs> that hurt a lot. Ooh. 
We're gonna get some new coral pieces for my aquarium because I haven't gotten any in a really, really long time. That is because I was worried about the crab killing the coral pieces. Now that he's out, let's add some more coral. This is the fish that used to be in my tank. He got so big. Look at him. Look at all those goodies, Gatsby. One good practice is to actually dip the corals first. The dips get rid of a lot of different pests. Unfortunately, it does not get rid of crabs. We're gonna dip the coral in this. Here are some of the coral pieces we have here. And here is the alveopora. The wrasse is checking out all the pieces. Please don't kill any of them. Before I take them off the plug and place them, I need to have some glue. So we have to go to the aquarium store and get the glue. Neptune Aquatics. This is what I dose every single day to the aquarium. Every single day the corals consume alkalinity and calcium from the water, so you need to add it back. Time to glue in the corals. Let's start with this alveopora. Alveopora does not like flow and does not like that much light. So we're gonna stick it somewhere here. This coral alveopora tends to also have really long tentacles, so you need to keep it away from a lot of other corals. Next, let's do this mummy eye chalice coral right over here. As you can see, it is already covering the plug. So what I have to do is take the bottom of the plug off and just glue this whole thing. Next, let's do this A-can. A-can's like low flow and low light, so I'm gonna stick it with the rest of the A-cans in this A-can garden here. I'm gonna glue the bottom. Sunset Monty, which likes high flow and high light. Next is our Favia piece over here. We're gonna stick it somewhere in this rock Kind of like this. And welcome to the aquarium. I see corgi fur. So I thought that I would explain to you guys why I don't have Dory, the blue tang in my aquarium. The first reason is you can only have one tang inside of an aquarium, especially an aquarium my size. Blue tangs require a really, really large aquarium, way larger than this one over here, which is only 65 gallons. They require a lot of room to swim. Third reason is because blue tangs do not do well in captivity. All the blue tangs that I hear that are in captivity tend to get really sick and get all the other fish sick and die. It's best to enjoy them in the wild. And if you'd like to see the progression and setup of our Red Sea Max C250 65 gallon reef aquarium, make sure to check out the playlist. I'll put a link in the description below. We have a whole series on this. Are you ready to go to the dog park and meet your friends? Let's go. Have fun with all your friends. And for dinner, as we mentioned, we are gonna be making some poke nachos. And here's the ingredients that we just picked up. Sashimi grade ahi tuna. Now stick this in the refrigerator. We're gonna chop half of an onion. Ta-da! We need four radishes. Let's chop up one cup of cilantro. There is a specific gene that people who hate cilantro have. So basically, people who love cilantro can't smell one of the smells in cilantro. Apparently, there's supposed to be a really disgusting smell that makes it really repulsive. That's chop. Next, we're gonna slice a lime into eight wedges. Thinly slice one full large jalapeno. And inside of a medium bowl, we are gonna add the fish, onions, one tablespoon of soy sauce, 
one tablespoon of lime juice. And now we're gonna make some spicy tuna sauce using sriracha and mayonnaise. Okay, that's about a quarter cup. Two tablespoons of sriracha. It's good. Finally, let's slice an avocado. Okay. The half of the chips inside of a bowl. Now we add half of everything that we just chopped up. And then we do it again. Chips, radishes, avocado, jalapenos, fish, cilantro, the limes, and the sauce. Okay. And there we go, poke nachos. Woo! Mmm. It was good. There's like a lot of lime in it. Jalapeno like adds a little spice. It's good. Chips are crunchy. Fish is nice and soft. Mmm. You can just keep eating this. It's so good. The combination of like crunchy and like really soft fish is really good. Lime with spicy tuna sauce? Who knew? Are you a corgi? How's your allergies doing, Gatsby? Everyone wants to know. He still has them, but it's not as bad as before. See? He still appreciates being pet though. And now I am headed out to meet up with Sean. We're gonna go Pokemon hunting. A new spot which is supposed to be really good. That's what we hear at least. Where is the Oh, he's right there. Oh. I'm with Sean, by the way. Hey. We're going to the place where all these lures are. Check that out. <gasps> Ammonite. Look at all the people. Nice. Where is the square? Oh, there he is. Don't like, run, I don't run, don't. <gasps> Found the place. Walk in, walk in, we found a Pidgey. Come on, chop. All these people here. Where is he? There he is. Don't run. Yes, I got it. Are you serious? We're in the middle of all four Poke stops right now. Where is it? There it is. Where is the Oh, there it is. Keep on on the side of the road. It's right next to Sean. We're all going for the Machop and the Ponyta right now. Look at all these people. There's a Charmander somewhere. Ignore everything else. Over there. <laughs> there he is. Look how many Pokemon there are. And we're walking away from that because Sean wants a star you. Oh, there he is. Star you. Where is he? <gasps> Abra. Ah. Graveler. Oh, we both got it. Yes. Kabuto is going to get across the street. Magmar. There's a Magnemite behind your shoulder, Sean. Okay, we're headed out now. Ekans. Lane. It's like they're Ekans. Oh, my star. Jinx, Blossom, and Magmar. And Geodude and RK9, Jigglypuff, and Mr. Mime. Don't forget about Sun Slash, Execute, and Rabbit Ash, Licky Tongue, and Fury Gun. Everybody, Pokemon. I can speak. That was a pretty successful Pokemon hunt, if I do say so myself. Like, please, sir, please, can you please throw? <laughs> no, I want you to put the ball in my hand. At the dog park, Gatsby was doing the command that someone said to do, the word bark, and he was able to do it. I never taught him that command, so I have no idea how he knows it. Can you bark? Oh, wow! You know how to do it? Who taught you that? I never taught you. Bark. Bark. Good dog. Bark. Good dog. Frozen crabsicle. It's getting super late. I'm so tired. The aquarium stuff really took it out of me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There hasn't been an aquarium vlog in a really long time. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night, Gatsby.
here are the exotic fruits we are going to try today. Kiwano melon, dragon fruit, cherimoya, pepino melon, rambutan, and durian. Right now we're gonna try everything except for the durian because as you can see it is still a little bit frozen.